So this presentation is going to kind of cover what a tragic comedy is. If you've already reviewed the Shakespeare presentation, you know that uh, Shakespeare's romances are also called tragic comedies, and The Tempest is considered a tragic comedy. So this is going to kind of explain what a tragic comedy is, which is essentially a mix between a tragedy and, and a comedy. So, what is a tragic comedy? It's a play that employs a plot suitable to a tragedy, such as Hamlet, but it ends happily like a comedy, such as Much Ado About Nothing. How does tragic comedy work? So the action seems to be leading to a tragic catastrophe until there's an unexpected turn of events, often in the form of a deus ex machina, which is an unexpected power or event saving a seemingly hopeless situation. Um, this is especially as a contrived plot device in a play or novel and the deus ex machina brings about a happy conclusion. What are the characteristics of a tragic comedy? There are a number of them, but there are 13 common ones. One, complex and improbable plot. Two, unnatural situations. Three, characters of high social class, usually nobility. Four, love is a central interest. Five, there's pure love and there's gross love often being contrasted. Six, rapid action. Seven, contrast to deep villainy and exalted virtue, which is rescued in the nick of time. Eight, we have a penitent villain. Um, we also have disguises. Nine, we have surprises. Ten, we have jealousy. Eleven, we have treachery. Twelve, intrigue. And thirteen, as an enveloping action of war or rebellion. I hope you've review this before you start reading The Tempest because you're just going to be able to tick all of these off as you go along. You're going to be like, ooh, I found this. It's going to make you feel really good about reading Shakespeare because you're going to start recognizing things and it's going to build up your confidence. That is the end of this presentation. It's pretty quick and simple, just a couple of things to consider. Um, so hope you enjoy reading Shakespeare's Tempest.